So I'm here with Fox Hill Principal David Rosenblatt doing another of our school closure check-ins. And I think this is our what fourth full week or third full week? I can't even keep track anymore. I think we're going into number three, I think. Number three. Yeah, they're all going together. It is, I know. And like, what day is it? I think my wife said, she said to somebody when she hung up on a call today, have a nice weekend. And I don't know if it really matters at this point. Right, right. <laughs> they're all Saturdays. Um, so what have you and maybe your family been doing to try to make sense of this and have some structure to keep yourselves mm -hmm. productive and, you know, kind of keep your head above water here? Yeah, it's certainly uh, certainly been different times. I certainly miss uh, miss being at school every day. You know, it's it's the job. You know, being a principal is very different doing it from home than actually being there at school every day. It makes there's a lot of challenges to it. Um, you know, the video calls where you'd think would be um, an easier way to communicate are actually, you know, I find it a bit more challenging because, you know, technology issues and then the issues of who's on the screen at one time and who isn't. So while it's been, you know, our only means of, of communicating, which has been okay, you know, it's obviously not ideal. Um, and obviously miss seeing the kids every day. That's a huge yeah. Part of you know, I love that part of my job, and not doing it every day is certainly different. But you know, we're we're slowly adapting. One thing that I've been trying to do is keep uh, active on my Instagram, sending messages, sending out pictures, trying to find some way to connect with them. In the next few weeks, I'm I'm going to jump on a um, a fourth grade morning meeting, which should be great, and hopefully expand doing that a bit, which should be good. Um, in terms of being at home, uh, my wife's a teacher. I have two kids, uh, a six-year-old and a four-year-old. Uh, the six-year-old is in kindergarten, so she's getting her own assignments. Um, but my wife has been has been really good at playing the role of teacher and in, in working through everything. Um, you know, we, we try to stay to a, um, a pretty good schedule where the kids have some work time, have some outside time, have some fun time. So trying to do a combination of all of them. There's been a, a lot of Lego building here. There's been a lot of uh, Nintendo Switch playing here, uh, but a lot of reading too, a lot of uh, doing their, uh, her, my daughter Natalia is the uh, kindergartner doing her apps from school. So we've been, we've been busy, you know, they're, um, they haven't asked many questions. So we, we just keep it very light and very basic. Tell me a little bit about the Fox Hill Parade. How was that? I know it's yeah. again not the same as interacting, but yeah. tell me how you felt about that. No, it was incredible. I mean, I think we had a huge turnout of teachers. Um, so many kids, I couldn't even count how many. We had so many families come out and say hello. Um, everybody was extremely, extremely happy. The feedback that I got from both families and from staff was it was just a really great moment for us and uh, you know it was it was weird because we it hasn't been that long but it really has been that long so to see everybody again just felt very different and even the staff at the beginning when we all gathered you know everybody wants to get together and talk but you can't really be close to each other so it's just this finding this weird balance of of being safe and social distancing but also wanting to converse and, and be with your your colleagues that you work with yeah, it really, you know, if you think about from a summer perspective, we're out and away from our kids a lot longer, but there's really nothing um, going on here that's like summer because we had the door kind of shut on us yeah. literally like in a few hours. We didn't mm -hmm. know this was going to happen um, quite as quickly as it did. You can't go out and do fun things like you would yeah. typically do if you're on break. So mm -hmm. I'm trying to like rationalize it in my own head. Like, how do I make sense of this? But right. there's, there's nothing to draw on from previous experience. Right, and that that's a big part of it. You know, it, it was just so abrupt that there was no pre preparation for it, no warning. It just kind of all of a sudden happened and then you don't see everybody for a few weeks. Um, you know, I, I, I feel that just trying to, to find the right balance between staying in work and also trying to to stay out of work, whether that's through, I've been doing a lot of walks, whether that's just going outside with the kids for bike rides or right. things like that has been really helpful and, you know, keeps keeps your mind off things while so many crazy things are going on. Yeah, I was, I was sharing with a few people, I listened to this podcast, Brene Brown did, mm -hmm. and um, she talked last week or two weeks ago about the initial adrenaline surge you get mm -hmm. when there's a crisis, which this definitely is. And how um, at some point you all hit the wall with the crisis. Yeah. So I, uh, 
I think I could started to feel that myself this week and that self care is really important. Yeah. So I think when you talk about the walks and yep. maybe if you're used to taking one walk, it's like you might have to take a couple or you need to, yeah. it's almost like a prescription yeah. when you need it, you need to do it. So what else have, what else has been right. helpful for you, you to know, kind of step away? I feel like it's been a roller coaster where it started off where it was like this shock and it took a little while for the shock to wear off. Then, you know, you kind of figure out a routine and figure out a schedule and that's, but that has its highs and lows too. There's some really good days where things are, are working well all around. And then there's some days that, that aren't so great and you really long for, um, for things to go back to normal. You know, I, I just feel like trying to to maintain some sort of schedule like i said it's it had been good for the kids but it's also been good for me you know trying to do things consistently every week in trying to you know just stay organized and just stay on top of things and not not say as uh, difficult as it is to resist, not sleep too late or not, you know, start eating horrible food all yeah. the time. As yeah. hard as it is to resist during times like this, just trying to to stay consistent and stay normal with things has been helpful. No, you're right. Um, yesterday, like I was just in a terrible mood and I'm like, what did I do different? Like yeah. I didn't get up and shower. Yeah. Like I've been pretty good about get up, shower, like you're going to yeah. work and yesterday yesterday i didn't do that so i'm like that's got to be part of the routine and just trying yeah. to check the even with the routine i think at the end of a day i gotta just sit down and be like today was a bad day that's okay here's what right. i do to try to fix it tomorrow you know right and i've been lucky i've been able to go into the building a little bit so that has been good to at least you know it's very weird to be there with no people but at least it's some small connection of, you know, everything's still here. We're going to be back here at some point. So it's, you know, it's good to still have that connection. That is good. I've talked to a few um, parents like yourself who are home with their kids. And what are you and your wife doing to try to give each other some time to kind of decompress and recharge? Yeah. Yeah. It's, you know, in terms of that, um, it's been pretty consistent with the way that we've always done things. Usually I take nighttime routine and she takes more of um, during the day type of thing. So we've pretty much stayed consistent with that. So that hasn't been too, too okay. far from the norm. And so another issue I think people are running into is the kids can't connect with their friends, yeah. or maybe extended family that they might usually connect with. Um, have you been doing anything special to try to keep that connection going at all? Yeah, yeah there's a, a ton of FaceTiming. There, um, you know, we'll do um, do some drives. Do, you know, people come by and, and stop by, and they stay in their car, and we'll we'll talk to them from there. Um, you know, a lot of phone calls. I there's a um, uh, Facebook Messenger has some sort of kid um, kid friend. I heard about that now. Yes, yeah, which is kind yeah. of different. It's you know very uh, kid appropriate, and essentially you're just sending a bunch of stickers back and forth. But that's that, that's been fun. You yeah. know. That's they're into it so it works um you know they're they're in a way kind of kind of oblivious to it they know that there's something different but we really haven't had a ton of conversations with them about what exactly is going on all right so the last question i've been asking people is mm -hmm. again just sources of gratitude that they've mm -hmm. kind of found over the last few weeks because it's easy to get down and mm -hmm. but try to look for some positive things so what mm -hmm. are some positive takeaways you have for you and your family mm -hmm. you know one thing i think above all else is it it's really made me appreciate the small things and just the things that we take for granted all the time and just something as simple as as running out to to target running on an errand running to the hardware store is usually no big deal now it's a big deal um so really just you know once this is all over just appreciating those things and how lucky we are to just be able to do something as simple as that but also i think it's really made me realize how much um you know i appreciate my work and appreciate my job and appreciate um the people that i work with i i'm very very lucky to work with an incredible group of people at fox hill and i really miss them and really uh, appreciate everything that they're doing to support kids during this time yeah i guess it's it's kind of a, a mixed blessing i mean it's all good but you yeah. realize how much you miss those people which yeah. also shows you you're in a good place so yes yeah absolutely that that's great yeah. All right. Well, thanks for taking the time to do this today. Yeah, and I'm sure we'll be checking in down the road. Sounds good. Thank you. Bye, everybody. Talk to you soon.